Hello, welcome in Max DIY. Today I'm going to share with you how I did my avatar and branding watermark for my YouTube channels. Well, to begin with, I did not have a proper picture to cut it out, so that's why I had to use free selection tool, and this is uh, this thing on your toolbar in GIMP, and it did take me a while, but it was the easiest way to cut out a picture that did not have a neutral background. I was forced to do a couple of adjustments with the eraser tool, and here we are, my face nice and ready and the phone in the hand. You have to remember that taking a proper picture is essential and a neutral background is very helpful when you want to cut out your face or anything else. But well, I am a bit sentimental about this very photo, so I had to use it. Well, the next step was to use one of the artistic filters called Cartoon. And as you can see here, after a couple of adjustments, my face started to look like a cartoon. Later on I decided to remove a couple of bits and pieces so my egg-shaped head would look like a proper egg. The next decision I made was to remove the original colors from the picture as avatars should look simple. I decided to use a mono color instead of gradient colors from the original picture, so I made a couple of uh, samples here and there using this tool and I substitute um, the original colors on the picture with the colors taken uh, from the sampling tool. I wanted my sunnies and the telephone to be main items in the picture so the glasses and the telephone they were cut out and they were inserted into new layers. So the glasses got dark blue in the back and a bit of bright blue in front and I got a couple of uh, white patches so they could act as reflections. The telephone got uh, dark blue in the back and a bright red in front so it looks red but a bit old. Well now it's high time I gave you the most important tip of them all. You have to remember to save your work at all times, I suggest you should do it every 5 minutes. So if you get a power cut or something goes wrong with your computer, you will have your progress saved. As I got all of the colors done, colors of my face, colors of the sunnies and the telephone, and my hoodie and my t-shirt, I decided to work on the background. And from my experience I think that for such small pictures the background should be plain and simple. So my first thought was to go for yellow, and I didn't like it for a while, but then I I came back without applying any special effects to it. So I got uh, two pictures, one of them with yellow background and then I decided to get my second picture that I would use as my YouTube branding watermark. Her Majesty YouTube herself advises to use only two colors, white and black, for the watermark, and this is what I did. Another advice that I can give you if you're a beginner with GIMP is, uh, well, first of all, GIMP is for free, so it is a good substitute for a Photoshop if you don't do it for life. So the good advice is to use as many layers as you can and duplicate the layers if you can, because it really helps. As I told you before, my final products were one colored cartoon style a thumbnail or avatar for my uh, youtube channels that's going to appear there probably in a couple of days i changed it already but youtube uh, well it takes some time from time to time for youtube to do something and uh, the second one that's going to be used as my um, watermark for all of my videos well uh, this is how i change them if you don't know how to do it just uh, watch the video till the end and that's it for today. If you want, subscribe and remember of turning the notifications on so you'll get all of my new videos. That's it for today or tonight, wherever you are in the world and see you next time.